Maybe if you took the lens cover off. Yeah. Yeah, if we take the lens cover off, Harry, it'll work. It works better. Can I sit next to you? It does, yeah. It works, you see. I've just given Harry my ridge monkey, because it was too small for two people. And Harry's full time in his van, so Harry can make use of it. So yeah. we've got sound now. He looks after me. So we've actually got this camera working now with a miniature SD card or whatever into a bigger one and then put it in the camera because I can't find my original. Don't know what I've done with it, Harry. I could have given it away knowing me. <laughs> Somebody really said, have you got one of these? Oh yeah, I've got one here. Well, if you got any 50 pound notes you want to get rid of. Well, I, w I wish. Do you know I don't see cash anymore, Harry? I just have a bank card, so everywhere I go I just pay with a bank card. You never see any money. And you don't realise that it's money that you're spending when you're just tapping everywhere. Well, yeah, yeah. <coughs> my, my bank card went out. So I'm only I'm only testing this area on here because I don't know I haven't used it for a long while. I've been using all the GoPros, but this is the original camera that I started. Well, it's not. It's like the camera that I started with and then upgraded to this. But all this gear I've got is not something I've bought like yesterday. Oh, I, this is, all the camera gear I've got is an accumulation over like three you years of, you know, making videos. But you need these things, aren't you, to make videos? Well, you know, you could get away with just like camp. It's just a go, but your phone would do, to be fair. Right. Um, but yeah, it's just that I saw something and I thought, well, it's my birthday or it's been Christmas or it's, you know, and I've saved up or whatever. And I thought, oh, I'll get one of them. So it's like an accumulation of things. And then I thought, oh, I'll get some lights for the van or I'll get this. And I, so it's over like a three and a half. How long have I had this van now? Three years, four years. Four it's years. over a period of all that time that I've been buying all this stuff. Not that I've got any money more than anybody else. I, I work, Sue works. <laughs> and we pay bills that are going through the roof. You've got more money than some people and less money than other people. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Just not enough that I, I could uh, live comfortably in Gibraltar for the rest of my life with. Mm. That would do. Uh, God. Right, Harry, let me ask you a few questions, because you live full-time in your van, don't you? Go on, then. Right. I'll answer them if I can. If, if let's say, for argument's sake, you hurt your leg and the council gave you a bungalow and said, oh, live there, would you do that? Or would no, you stay in your van? No, stay in, van. stay in your van. I knew you'd answer before you said it. So you actually like the freedom to be able to just come and go whenever you please. Go different places. Nobody's telling you where to go. You've no gas bills and you've no electric bills. I've got no gas water. bills. I've got a gas bill. You're in the van. Because we're in the van, yeah. yeah, I've got to have gas. But you've no electric, you've no council tax. No, no. Diesel is obviously one of your biggest Di costs. Yeah, diesel. That's Which the biggest. Hey, on a little island like ours, why we're paying like we do is beyond me. And they're all going green with electric cars and all that. Think of this, right? Half a billion Indians and Chinese people are cooking on a wood stove for breakfast, dinner and tea. Yeah, but if you get one of these electric cars and you live in a flat, how are you going to charge you? A long, long lead. Got to have a long lead. I can imagine there's going to be some money out somewhere by everybody plugging them in and then somebody going around unplugging them, yeah. burning the plastic off and weighing all the copper in. <laughs> yeah, that's, <what> I mean. <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Yeah. You can see it coming. All it is with electric cars, for me, right, Harry, it's greed. Because... Every single electric manufacturer has to have its own battery. Yeah. Why don't, like, Betamax and VHS, why don't they have a universal... I don't know if you remember Nokia. Nokia, yeah. The original Nokias, oh. every Nokia charger fit every Nokia phone. Yeah. And all these phones today have to have a separate charger and all this other nonsense. This is what electric cars are doing now. You have to have a battery from that manufacturer that's fixed to your car, right? Why can't you have a battery in the boot that comes off so you can pull at a petrol station, give them a tenner, and they put you another battery in? Yeah, true, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just pure greed that's stopping yeah, yeah. them doing that. It's just so that's all got, it is. You've got to get, it's like anything that you've got to get from where you bought the car from. Yeah, exactly. So there's going to be no second-hand car market, because if you buy a second-hand electric car and the battery's only 70% every time you charge it, and all of a sudden oh. you're only getting 25 mile out of it, you've 10 grand or 12 grand for another battery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, why are batteries fixed to the car? Make them not fixed to the car so that you can swap it at a garage that can charge them up for you and you just pull in, swap it over, two minute job and drive off. Put solar panels on the top? So it's charging all the Well, top. the problem there is, is the size of the batteries. Oh. It right. would take you about a month to charge up an electric <laughs> right, car off a solar panel. But anyway, do you know, there's so many questions. I'll tell you what we'll do. You give me some questions to ask Harry, who lives in his van full time, and you're going soon, aren't you? Not today, but you're going to, but you're going to come back, aren't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. So, ask me some questions to ask Gary, who lives in his van full time, or, or me for that matter, and we'll, we'll do a, a question and answer session, eh? Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what I've done as well. I've messaged Manchester Van Life. Oh, yeah. Brian. Brian. 
Bri. Well, Bri, as you seen him here, didn't you? Yeah, I seen him here, yeah. and uh, I said to him, "Listen, in two or three weeks' time, save a space wherever you are, because me, me and Harry are going to come, and we'll, we'll have a bit of a we'll have a fire and something to eat." And yeah, a... I was speaking to him when I first seen him. Yeah, yeah. What do you call it? A jamboree? Yeah. We'll yeah. have a jamboree. Go and see him. Yeah. And Buddy, don't forget Buddy. Buddy, oh, hi, Buddy, yeah, Buddy. Well, I might bring Benji, you know. Because ben, Benji likes to get out. I can't bring the other two because obviously. Yeah, she's feeding. Yeah, she's too small. She's not had her injections yet because when they're six or seven weeks old, we need to get her injected You've and got things to like that. Injected, you? And George needs her nails cut. We haven't been able to do it while she's been pregnant. And, oh, you know, right. So we've had to wait. So she needs her nails cut. Anyway, so this is Harry, my toolman. Toolman? From Oldham. Yeah. It was alright there, Oldham. Oldham, yeah. Oldham, yeah. yeah. My mother's from Bolton, by the way. Oh, yeah. So what? Not far. How do you get on with this green emission zone rubbish at Manchester? Is it's it, not it? come out yet. All oh, right, that's designed to stop people living in vans in, in town centre. That's all it is. <laughs> I'm convinced of it because the amount of people now living in vans and cars. If you can't drive into a town or a city in that car, you, they're going to prevent you from living. Yeah, in it. but you see, it's not in a town. It's spread miles out of the town. Into the countryside. Yeah. That's why they've done it. It's, it's not, to stop you living in your it's vehicle. It's not just in, like, in no. say, Manchester or Oldham. No. It's miles out. That's ridiculous, it's isn't it? It's a big area. Like, they've done it in London, but they just did it in the London centre, didn't they? Yeah. But now they... they but London is a big, sprawling, uh, urban area, but whereas Manchester, like Lancaster or Morecambe, within ten minutes you're in the countryside. Yeah. So what they're doing is spreading it into the countryside. Just, I mean, can you imagine if you worked in Lancaster, worked in Manchester, and lived in your van, right? You're gonna to have to pay twelve quid to drive to work yeah. every day. But it, see, on the signs when you drive it about, it says these missions are not on the motorway. It doesn't. You don't have to pay on the motorway, so I might live on the motorway. It's gone ridiculous, hasn't it? It's just another farm. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what's going to happen, Harry, right? We're going to become a nation of people living in tents, just like America. It's just another farm of getting money out of you. It's just yeah. another tax. Yeah, but why why hit the ordinary working man in this country so much? Well, that's what they do. That's do you like my hairstyle, by the way? Oh, you don't sweat. It. Well, it's took me all night to get it like that. Right. I went to bed last night and I woke up and like that. <laughs> So it's took me all night to get it like that. I've worked at, I've worked for eight hours getting my hair like that. Oh. Uh, good. Yeah, so if you've got any questions for Harry, Harry's living in his van full time. He's actually parked behind me. You've got a Compass Amazon GT. Yeah, that's it. It's a nice van, it's, it's a Peugeot, isn't it? Yeah. Mine's um Swift. Fiat. Fiat Swift. Mine's a Fiat. I hate Fiat cars, you know, I think they're ridiculous. Always breaking down a two. And they've all let me down. Oh, when you were taxiing? No, just driving, oh, my right. old cars. But this van, it's been absolutely great. Apart from obviously the problems I've had over the last few weeks. Oh, I've still got a gas leak. Because you're not running it for yeah. Oh, yeah, you're just letting it stay. On a gas leak, oh, I reckon it should be just with a uh, regulator. Yeah, dead regulator, yeah. I'm going to change the regulator, but I'll get somebody to change it for me. I'll let them have a look. Anyway, give me some questions for me and Harry. And, uh, Harry will answer your question. I used to do an answer question know, on know, once a month. Yeah, seen him. Don't forget I've been following him for over a year. Yeah, you have, yeah, yeah, I forget. I, mean, yeah. I don't know how long my lad's been following him, yeah. yeah. Uh, I only ever did it for fun, mate. But so, some go mad with it. I'll tell you what, though, when you make TikTok videos, there's a lot of nasty people on TikTok, isn't there, that reply to you? Oh, I, I don't know, because I don't know anything like that. I, I read the comments, but I don't reply to a lot of them because they're just stupid. But why watch a van life video if you're not interested <laughs> in vans? I like only give hints and tips on van life. See, like when I watch you. Yeah. You go like these little lights. Yeah. Well, and the lights on the top. Yeah. You know, so I've copied a lot of what you were. Yeah, but what you've seen. done is you've watched videos and got hints and tips off people right, that, are, tips, that are, yeah. oh, I could yeah. use them. Yeah. Because if your power fails, are you getting light? You got light. Exactly. So yeah, it's just hints. Well, that's all I ever tried to do in the first place. Just by, <laughs> by watching you, I've learned how to. Do other things, so I've got lights. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I did write silly things, right? Which sounds silly to me and you, but showing people how to use uh, ramps on your van yeah, to level that. it off. Yeah. Well, the thing is, unless you've used a levelling ramp, how do you know how they work? You well, can guess. You can guess. But it's better to watch somebody. Oh, that's how you do it. And you can do one side or the other side or the front or the back. Yeah. You know, it, once you've seen it, you think that's it. Yeah, that's great. I, I've enjoyed so that. So I've been keeping up with the Joneses. Yeah. Or keeping up with Smithy and his Kentucky. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I've got the lights you got on the top. Yeah, yeah. I've got them. I've got the lights under there. I've got them. 
Yeah, but aren't they, aren't they nice mood lights? So you... what's it there for the uh, keeping the eating? Oh. I've not got nothing thick like I've just got a curtain. Well, that that putting a quilt over the front cab there to block it off at night. Where do you say? It's just where I got that space. off another YouTuber. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's how you learn, isn't it? Exactly. How you get hints and hints and tips. So. so there might be somebody out there now who's thinking of doing it. Yeah. And then. I, I'll tell you what, what I did. I'll tell you what I did one day. I did a cooking video, right? And it was, um, you know, like the French croque monsieur or croque madame. You know, like you have eggs and cheese. Oh, that, and that thing you made. It, it was toast, and it, somebody messaged me and said, "What do you want for breakfast?" The kids, said, I want what a smithy had last <laughs> night. So they had to make it. And they yes, said, isn't it? said to me, "Keep making videos on food." Uh, so I will do. I'll keep doing that. See, but you're giving other people. Ideas of okay, what that's all it is. Yeah. That's all TV is. It's to give you ideas. Uh, take, don't believe half of what you read and listen to, uh, and then take the hints and tips along the journey of life, innit? That's, that's, what, I've been, that's what I did. The thing is, though, Harry, right? By the time we know everything, we're going to be about 80. When we're just sat in Arndale keeping warm because we can't afford <laughs> gas. <laughs> uh, we know everything, but life's over. Yeah. Uh, I said to my kids, I said, listen, if I ever get to a stage where I'm just sat there with dementia and I go, huh? I'm asking you for a fag and a can. <laughs> <laughs> and public toilet. <laughs> That's what I want. Right, I'm going to go. So this is Harry, my tool man. You've seen Harry in a few videos. And if you watch me TikTok, Smithy Con Tiki One, Harry gets more views than I do. Anyway, take care, stay safe. And me and Harry, I'll see you soon. I'm going to have this all fixed by then. Yeah, and give us some questions for Harry. It's full time. Anyway, so uh, I'm having a problem with this 12 volt socket, but it turns out, because I'll show you, that 12 volt socket is wired direct to my battery via a 40 amp fuse and massive thick wires which Robert said there's no need for all that he thinks it's an aftermarket thing somebody's put it in after the van was produced as a motorhome so anyway I'll show you so that's what we're left with so we've traced these wires all the way under the van through some trunking and it actually comes up in the trunking down there there's the trunking rubbish everywhere anyway so that's the trunking where we followed it so this wire is actually blue but it does go to that fuse so this was all strapped up so all we saw was a blue wire so I thought I'm not connecting that to anything but there's the battery or one of them so I have another one under the other seat so that blue wire needs connecting to there but obviously Robert's going to test it and make sure and everything's going to be sorted out and then we're going to get a 12 volt TV. I'll stay quite close to you because the sound isn't that great on these GoPros. You've got to be, it's not as good as the sound on my camera. I can't remember for the life of what I've, what I've done with that. Uh, I'll have to buy another card one. Oh God, I've only just been paid today. Oh well, such is life. Anyway. Oh, you can't beat a broom. Let me show you the view. And Harry's behind me. I went past his caravan a minute ago, he's still in bed. Uh, well, he's not in bed, he, he's on his bed, but he's, uh, he's on like one of these couches that I'm on now. And uh, he, uh, I'll put you there. He's got his head on the window. So I thought, oh, I can't wake him up, I'll leave him out. When he wakes up, I'll make him a brew. And uh, yesterday was an interesting day. I sat there, I was talking to Robert and his wife and uh, Harry. This other lad came from the Isle of Man that had been messaging me on TikTok and he gets 3 million views per video on TikTok. I can't remember his name or else I'd tell you. And uh, for some reason, he wanted to meet me. So he, he met me sat here and he gave me some hints and tips on TikTok. He said, what's your most viewed video? I said, about a quarter of a million on TikTok. I said, it's totally different than YouTube. Every video I put up is getting a thousand views or 10,000 or 12,000 or 50,000. YouTube will only show it to people that they think they can earn the most revenue with. That's why I'm, a lot of videos that I make and others like me, we get 300 views and 500 views. YouTube's a bit biased that way. But uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it could turn out to be a good day. Not only is it payday, although it just means I've got to pay all the bills today. We might have a 12 volt telly. And then all we've got to do is uh, sort the gas out. 
and the gas is where the pipe comes out of the actual thing that thing I don't know what you call it the regulator is leaking I think they have a perishable rubber inside somebody told me in Keswick I was in Keswick with the van and he said he had to replace it I should have said to him show me how it comes off and I could have just done it but anyway I don't want to mess about with gas you know play it safe I know what jobs I can and can't do and what jobs I don't want to tackle one of them was the electrics Robert's dealing with the TV. Happy days. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Harry at with old tools? I'm Mary Nungham, man. Harry, Mary how, how are we going to have a TV working? That's what we need, isn't it? Second, it's took my job. What am I going to do? <laughs> Sorry, Harry. It's work. <laughs> so to get to the battery, you've had to take the whole seat out. We are. Well, it did what's it. We're getting there, we're getting there. Where we are, we've got power of it. Happy days. Yeah. So it was that red wire under the other. So both seats had a wire loose. Yeah. Not, that, not a screw loose. No. A wire loose. Yeah, that's a screw loose. That's me replaced. <laughs> this is Gino de Camper van, by the way. Hi guys. So this is me replacing leisure batteries. Yeah. So Robert, if I need to replace them again, I'm just better off ringing you, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. What do you reckon, Harry? Oh my God, all that for the little bleeding wire. Thing is, with Harry though, all he does is pass you the tools. I'm the tool man. He the expects tool you man. to do it. Yeah, all right, okay. So, yeah, but Robert's not only brought the tools, he's done the job and all. Hey, how, long, how long has it not been working? Since he I put knows, the batteries he in. Knows, he knows, he knows what he's uh, doing. Since I put the batteries in. Well, oh God. All done now, as soon as you can watch there the are. Absolutely perfect. Look at that, we've got a light on. We're cooking with gas now. Well, nearly, because I've still got a gas light. Harry. Yes. When you come with your tools, why are you not on the floor, like Robert, taking seats out and just sorting <laughs> stuff out? You're, you're, all you do is just undo stuff. Well, I'm watching you, see, watching and learning. Right. So the next time out goes wrong, you can get on the floor, take seat out. Yeah, when you don't in, know what you're about doing, you ten... get somebody who knows what they're doing. Right. I just carry the spanners and That's the screwdrivers. <laughs> no computer work. They are, no signal, but we're on. So I could play a DVD by pressing DVD and all that, but anyway, it's on. That'll do, because you, you do something with electrics and another fuse will go somewhere else. So look, I hope you like my hair. It took me all night to make it like that. <coughs> Robert got me a can of pop. He said, yeah, I got you some pop. I said, oh, thank you. It's uh, refreshingly ugly. There you go. I didn't clock on at first. I said, oh, thanks very much. He said, have you read it? I said, no, no calories, no sweeteners, no sugars, and it's refreshingly ugly. There you go, I've never heard of it. Uh, anyway, so that's what we're up to today. So the, the plan is, Get the 12 volt TV working and then Sue's ready to go. And uh, I said to her, I'm not having the same days off as you at the minute, but we can still go away in the van, just within about 30, 40 miles, so one of us can still commute to work, whichever one of us is working. We can still get away, you know. So that's the idea of that, that's what we're gonna do. So we'll still be away, and uh, we'll be away so that we can still, one of us can still commute, whichever one of us is working. And uh, I think, Tuesday, which is tomorrow, I start day and night. Hey, who's this? Who's this? Morning. I just woke up. <laughs> That's all right. Hey, I seen you asleep. Come in, you're all right. Uh, I won't make you see, Harry. I seen you asleep in your van, and I thought, well, I won't, I won't knock on his door. <laughs> How are we doing? All right. Do you want a coffee? No, thank you. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. Has he fixed it? No, he's coming at 10, isn't he? It's 20 past 9. Have a sit down, you're alright. How are we doing? Alright. I'll just show you people the ugly <coughs> thing you got the can of pop. No, I moved down. Yeah, I can see you pulled behind me, that's better. Damn. I once parked over the grid, so when I opened the door, it stunk. I thought, well, that's not a good parking spot, so I had to park on the other side till somebody else left, and then I could park here. So it's all, it's all the hints and tips of parking as well. Look for grids. You don't want to park over a grid when just you open your case, window. Just in case you go, oops. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There you go. So, yeah, hopefully we'll have a 12 volt telly working. How good will that be? Really, on that? Do you remember that lad's name yesterday from TikTok? That big lad, you Yeah. No, I, don't I can't remember his name. name. 
He seemed uh, like clued up, Ron. Yeah, he did. Yeah, but he'd been messaging me from the Isle of Man. And then I don't know how he knew I was here, but he, well, he probably because all my videos are from here at the minute. But yeah, he knew I was here. Right, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll bring you back later and I'll, I'll, I'll update you as to what's happened with the TV. I'll have a chat with Harry and we'll see him soon, won't we, Harry? See you in the wheel, yeah. Harry's the TikTok star. I put a video on TikTok and get a thousand views. I put one of Harry on, he gets 12,000 views. <laughs> anyway, Smithy's Contiki 1, by the way. See you soon.